Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play, Getsufu Madden for the NES. Now this is the second Halloween special that I'm gonna do. It was between that and Holy Diver and I decided to go with both. This legend has become like a dream. In the beginning of the Demon Age, the Dragon Master was revived in Hell. The Fuma brothers fought against him, but were not able to defeat him, and their Hadoukens were taken. Hadoukens in this game is slang or Japanese for wave swords. The last Fuma swore to retake the Hadoukens. Ah, you are a Fuma. Go to the devil and do battle. Yeah, apparently the main antagonist in the, in the game is the Dragon Master and the two elder Fuma brothers died against him. So now the youngest one, Getsu Fumaden, has to go out there and defeat him. Seems simple enough, right? Now, granted, since this game was only released in Japan and never saw a North American release, 9 times out of 10, that means the game is going to be hellishly hard. And it usually is. In fact, we probably never heard much about Getsu Fuma until, like, Yu-Gi-Oh!, certain Konami games, and... Well, even in Castlevania Harmony of Despair, where Getsu Fuma is a downloadable character. Even has his own level, too. Yeah, you can tell this game was never released in North America. I mean, look at the overworld itself. There's skeletons and bones and everything. Like, you got human skulls, and you got Mr. Mackey skulls, which is like huge, huge ass heads. Ha! Welcome to hell! You are to defeat the dragon and take back your family's great Hadouken. Now go and do battle! Okay. It's kind of like Zelda 2 when you consider the overworld, especially when you get into these areas, which is like an action sequence. Ow. You get these little ghosts to reclaim your health, and you can also get money from enemies too. Just be careful, because you do have a limited amount of lives. And, well, obviously, you don't want to die. Okay, so when you press pause, it's just a simple pause, but when you go into the overworld, when you pause, it actually gives you, like, a list of all your items. And right now, I don't have any. I figured I'd go with this, because it is kind of spooky if you think about it. It's like you're in hell, you're dealing with demons and whatnot. So this was suitable for a Halloween special. And since it's hard as hell, it's gonna frighten even me! Look at that, flying fish bones, what the hell? Yeah, you can tell this is hell. None of this makes sense, really. It just doesn't. But it doesn't have to, it's Japan. I've only played this like a couple nights ago just to give it a try, and it is pretty hard. So be wary of it. But you'll get used to the difficulty, I promise you that. Okay, I made it out. Uh, so that tells me I should go south. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I actually have Castlevania Harmony of Despair, and I never played it, this guy. I'm actually trying to boost up the characters I do have, like Alucard and Tr Julius Belmont and Soma. And sometimes Shinoa, too. I just do a little bit at a time, try to get some of their characters with some stuff. And even though I don't have as much equipment, I try to play online just so I can get some. Hey, it works. I try not to fall in the pits, because that's instant, instant death right there. And case in point, I just died. Aw, set face. Okay, let's try this again. I gotta try to collect as much money as possible, because I'm gonna need it later. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, whenever you press pause and you press B, you can go to your different attack items. When you press A, you can cycle through your many defensive items. This is a heal potion, and I'm already at full health, so I'm gonna press A again to select nothing. And there, there we go. Nothing comes out. Because I didn't want it that way. Okay, it's around here that I died, so I hope I don't screw up again. 
And I just did. I don't want to use up too many lives in one spot. That would just be a waste. I don't know if you do have infinite continues, but I have a feeling you do. And probably you need a password as well. I think it uses a password, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, let's just keep going. Unlike Zelda 2, I don't have to worry about enemy encounters on the map. Ha 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 You have an odd sword. I saw one like it in a southern cave. Yeah, I know the English is not perfect, but this is a translation, so don't be surprised. Okay, poison one-up mushrooms. What the hell? Oh, and one more thing. Don't try to stay in the water for too long. It actually hurts you. Yes, water hurts you in this game. Okay, something tells me I'm in some kind of forest with a lot of lines and bugs. And giant hornets that just sting you and then run. Well, in that case, I just gotta be more cautious and deal with demon plants. Aw. That's okay, as long as you get out of the water right away, you won't take too much harm. Heh, <laughs> Froggy. He's so cute, but I gotta kill it anyway. Oh, I'm out of the forest already, cool. Okay, what's over here? On these islands, you will find shops with new weapons. Okay, but I don't have a lot of money. Hopefully I can get some more by the time I reach a shop. Okay, this looks like another forest, and... Let's see, though, no, this is nothing like Castlevania at all! Some dude throwing an axe? Of course! I had to corner him because he was not letting me hit him. Okay, something tells me that swamp water is gonna hurt me, too. It usually does. Ah, Taking too many hits. Good thing I can recover my health if I'm lucky enough to get power up. Thank you! Oh, not letting that thing get away from me. Or that. The enemies constantly respawn, though. Sometimes it's a good thing if you're trying to grind for money and health. In that case, I like to get some more of each. Got 191 gold, that's pretty good. Let's see... Something tells me I should go this way. Oh, there's a house. I wonder if that helps. Welcome! Buy something? Oh, there's a sword over there, but I don't have enough money. I'm gonna need, like, nine more units of gold. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go grind for some more. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. Now that I have enough money, I'm gonna buy this sword. Okay, as for that blue orb, all it does is it allows you to destroy all enemies on screen. But you can only use it once, so I got better uses on my money. And besides, I already got a potion, so I don't need any another one. Okay, let's go through all my items. Right now, I got one sword and one potion. I'll equip the sword when I get to an action sequence. Let's see, which one should I go to? I think I'm gonna go up. And then I'm gonna go right. Let's see, there appears to be another shop over here. Okay, same two, uh, th two items, except for this. It looks like some kind of bomb or magic shot. I'll put it on the description once I find out what it is. But I'm gonna leave that alone because, well, I can't afford it. Okay, it looks like I'm at the other side of this place. Oh yeah, I might want to equip this. Ow. Apparently there are snakes! I hate snakes! And 
giant fat things that shoot bubbles. Yeah, something tells me I'm just gonna have to leave that alone. Because it looks pretty powerful. Ow. And now we got skeletons with whips. This looks so wrong. Oh, Simon Belmont, where's your god now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I should go on the platform. And avoid the snakes for now. Ugh, something tells me I'm gonna have to, like, lure this guy away. That's it, I'm gonna have to take some hits, but oh well. Now, thanks to this Rock Breaker Sword, I can actually destroy this. Hmm. Can I actually shoot this? I hope I can. Ah, yes, I can. Perfect. Oh, yeah, now I can actually hit enemies from a distance. I'm gonna need to heal, though. Let's do a lot of damage. To oh, that does plenty of damage. Took out that snake in one shot. That's pretty cool. Now that I got, a, like, a, a range attack, I can do a lot of damage. Nice. I get some health again. So I can take care of those bubble enemies. That's good. Especially this one over here. Ah, no money. Set face. Okay, perfect. Now where should I go next? Hmm, I think I'll go this way. Froggy, what's up? I hate that I had to keep selecting this though. But oh well, at least it's still there. I want to get that power up. There we go. As far as I know, using this attack all the time doesn't cost me anything. Hopefully I can power this up, because I believe it or not, you actually can. I don't know if I can actually power up using my range attack, or do I have to use my normal sword. It takes a while to power up, though. But you can. I just wish I remember a faster way to do it. Ooh, those snakes actually give you 20 gold! That's convenient. <laughs> Very convenient. Ooh, just barely got jumped on by a frog. Okay, what's over here? You wanna pass, don't you? Then fight me. Will you? Um, okay. Yeah, I might want this equipped. Okay, this looks like some kind of boss. That likes to shoot at me. And he just knocked me out of the battlefield. What a douche. Uh-oh. You gotta be careful not to die. That's even worse than getting knocked out of the battlefield. Uh, uh, almost dead. Almost dead. Come on. Yeah, man. How many shots do you take, man? Come on. Got him! There, now I have a gate. Okay, that was a lot of progress, so I'm gonna stop the video here, and next part I'm gonna find out what to do with it. See ya.